Okay, folks, so today we are on the hunt for a very peculiar type of animal. Now, this animal is not often seen and oftentimes underground. So we're going to be looking around. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can find one of these fossorial treasures. Probably not under that rock. Okay, folks. Fingers crossed this is a good one. Oops. Not so much. Ugh. All right. So I've just flipped one rock, and I've had a little friend scurry under this rock. So I'm going to show you. Oh, he's trying to get away from me. See this? This right here is what we call a warrior beetle. Now these are carabids, uh, which are terrestrial ground beetles. And you can take a look at these pincers, these mandibles up here at the front of the mouth. Those are for catching prey. So essentially what these beetles will do is they'll attack soft bodied prey items like crickets or other beetle larvae and they'll split open their bodies with these powerful mandibles up here. And then what they'll do is they have a fibrous tongue and they will lick up all of the soft tissue and lipids and the hemolymph, which is kind of like insect blood, all the lipidy liquid parts, and they'll turn that, chop it up, slice it into a smoothie and suck it down. Very, very cool predatory beetles. Look at that. So we'll let him get back under his little rock here. And there we go. There you go, buddy. Really, really cool. Okay, check this out, guys. Now, Gage actually just flipped this under this rock here. This is a Texas blind snake. Now, these guys are primarily myrmecophagus, which means that they are feeding primarily on ants and their larvae, as well as termites. But look at that strain, almost worm-like. But if you look real closely, they are covered in scales, and they do have teeny, tiny eyes. See that little tongue flicking? I don't want to keep them out in the sun too long. These guys are... Uh, like to be kept cool. I mean, they, they live underground. They're fossorial. Um, so they don't really like being out in the hot sun. And he's actually poking me with the sharp end of his tail right now. See that? Stinging me. <laughs> Trying to. Really, really cool. Well, we'll let him get back onto this rock here. There you go. There you go, buddy. Wow, really cool find. Definitely really, really cool. All right, check out this little guy. Yet another little Texas blind snake. Worm-like fossorial snake that feeds on ant larvae. And take a look at where we found it. An ant nest. See this ant nest in here? He was coiled up right here. Now watch this. See how he's threaded through there? He is just perfectly sized to just poke through those holes. And that's how they hunt. They smell around, they smell, they look for the brood chamber. They sneak in there. They start gobbling up larvae and their smooth scales and their small size make it very, very difficult, albeit impossible, for the ants to properly defend themselves against the snake. So really, they come in, they feed at their leisure, and they leave. Ants are really helpless to take care of a snake that is perfectly designed to hunt their own larva. Really, really cool. Okay, folks, stumbled upon a good looking rock which appears to maybe have an ant nest around it. So either A, I lift it and immediately become swarmed by fire ants. B, I lift it and immediately become swarmed by fire ants and maybe find a blind snake. Or C, the ants have moved on, the blind snakes have moved on, and there's something cool under it. Or four, nothing. I'm gonna, you know, which is it? Uh, what is option four? Nothing. Well, let's see if you're right, Tim. 
Let's see. Can I get a what is nothing? Oh my goodness. Oh. I thought this was gonna be like maybe an 80 pound rock. This feels like 250 pounds and it's wedged into the ground. There's nothing under here, guys. So it was option uh, option four. I'm gonna sit down. I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, guys. I had my cameraman help me and look. Blind snake and a bunch of ants. We were right, it was option. Was that C? I, I don't, I don't know. It's B, I think it's B. Very cool snakes. And he's living in this wonderful colony of ants eating, see these white brood? Those are pupa and larvae. They're all in there. See, the larger ones are, uh-oh. Look, look what's happening here, folks. I'm gonna have to cut this little experiment short. You all know how poorly I do with stings.